Internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeller. And I'm Jeff Kanata. We're recovering from E3, but we still have headlines for you. We do. Targeted drone strikes are a controversial topic, to be sure. However, what if we were talking about targeting bugs? Meet AgriDrone, a collaboration between Saga University, Saga Prefecture, and IT company Optim in Japan. AgriDrone was created to use less pesticides on crops. In a recent test, it used infrared and thermal cameras to hunt down around 50 different kinds of pests at night, doling out a precision strike of pesticide to take out the bad bugs after locating them. If you're into more traditional methods, AgriDrone can carry an electric bug zapper around your fields at night, too. There's still some work to be done in AgriDrone, but honestly, we think this would be a great way to eliminate using a lot of chemicals on your crops. It's kind of crazy. It feels like they're individually tar targeting bugs, which yeah. seems really inefficient to me. But Zooming in. But, but then you don't have to soak a whole crop in yeah. chemicals. Which well, I appreciate that, not eating, nice. eating the pesticides. Yes. Blue Origin created an emergency on their rocket on purpose. Did it work? It sure sounds like it did. The commercial space company launched New Shepard for the fourth time this past weekend. It reached its target altitude, and then the team created a problem for its crew capsule. Only two of the capsule's three parachutes opened, forcing it to make a hard landing around 23 miles per hour. The rocket re-landed without any hitches, and the capsule hit dirt and stayed intact. Blue Origin will now spend time examining every inch of the capsule to see what kind of damage might have occurred and how serious it might have been. I guess this is how you do it. You, you intentionally create problems, uh, but it sounds like it came through with flying colors. Yeah, it looks like it did all right. I know they want to do pilot driven trips next year, and then the goal would be actual commercial space tourism in 2018, which is I hope they exciting. don't create problems for the pilot driven trips. I mean, I guess you would, right? You would want to do that in simulations at least. In simulations, yeah, I would imagine so, but yeah. not, uh, not, not, not in a intentionally situation crashing. Like this. Yeah, not intentionally no. de parachuting one of your <laughs> crew capsules. That seems pretty intense. They're like, hey, listen, you're going to get in a capsule. We're going to de we're going to drop one of those parachutes it's out. It's going to be real bad. It's going to be real rough, <laughs> but we just want to see what happens. Good luck. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Uh, we might we may or may not do a long show this week, guys. We're not sure yet. So, yeah. because of VidCon, there's some scheduling stuff and it's all crazy. Crazy week. But um, uh, if we did, what I would like, we talk I kind of like the targeted bugs. I like that targeted bugs too. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty interesting cool. way of using drones. Maybe we'll talk about both. I don't know. Yeah. If it's a short week, we'll see. Uh, if you guys want to talk about the show today, you can use the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter. Yeah, just let us know if you have any feedback about either of these stories or which you would prefer to hear more talk about. We like that. Just use that hashtag, and then we'll incorporate your discussion into our long show if we have one. Yes, and with that being said, let's check out our phone target for the day. Today's photography comes from Matt, who did not, in fact, give me the name of his device, but I'm going to use this picture anyway because, one, it's a selfie, and two, he says, so in a not-so-much-historical episode, but also not your most recent, you guys said folding fitted sheets was an impossibility. I'm not entirely sure how serious you were, but I'm emailing to kind of boast because I did it. I cut the frozen cheese, if you will. I don't know what that means. But, <laughs> I don't either. But he did fold though. a fitted sheet, and for that, my friend, Matt, we salute you. It's impressive if that is indeed a fitted sheet. I'm a little skeptical. It looks like a pillow. He sent me multiple photos oh, of this right. fitted sheet, and I have to say, I am impressed. And uh, and Matt, you're better than us. That's basically all we I guess Matt doesn't need a robot to fold his fitted sheets for him. We I do, mean, though. I we still I, need one. You know what? Even if I could, fit a, could fold a fitted sheet, would I want to if I had a robot? No, of course not. So uh, if you guys want to send in your photography, the theme this month is selfies. We're almost done. Yeah, it's awesome. It's been a fun, an fun month of, of selfies. But we appreciate those. Send them to us. Tell us what device you took it on. Give us your name. Tell us how to pronounce it. Uh, give us permission to use it on the show. And Tell us a little story about why you took that picture. We, we like finding out about fitted sheets and such. Yes, feel free to get creative with your stories. That is it for today's show. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of science fact, meeting science fiction, and do the most delicious science seed tech sandwich you've ever eaten in your life. So but good. until then, be good humans. Bye, guys. <laughs>